Hi friends, it's John Bice with eXp Real Estate and Florida's Suncoast Homes. Hey, today we're going to do a tour through Lakewood Ranch driving, just like you're sitting next to me in the car. I'm going to take you down I-75 to the south end of Lakewood Ranch and travel all the way to the north end of Lakewood Ranch and explain things to you. As I said, just like you're sitting next to me in the car. So if you're liking the information that you're getting uh, on our videos about Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota, Parrish, and Bradenton, Florida, please hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell. And when we upload a video, usually about once a week, you'll get a notification that it's uh, ready to go. So hang on one second. I'll be right back to take you on a tour of Lakewood Ranch. As we start our tour of Lakewood Ranch, I've come in the back entrance to Lakewood Ranch off of Fruitville Road. This road is called the Rain Road and it cuts all the way through Lakewood Ranch from uh, Fruitville all the way up to State Road 64. Um, and as I said previously, Lakewood Ranch is uh, 40 square miles of property. So you can see on the right hand side, there's still plenty of development to take place on the left hand side, we have a couple of different developments. Um, the first one we have there is a Lee Weatherington development, a local builder, been in this area for about 60 years. And uh, Wyndham is the name of that community. Uh, built very much for families, beautiful clubhouse and pools. Doesn't get quite as uh, detailed like with um, activity directors and things like that, but um, every, every activity, gyms, everything for that particular community. We're heading towards University Parkway. And this next area is part of the brand new section. Well, I shouldn't say brand new, two years now, Waterside. And there's three builders that are located, actually four builders, uh, Homes by Town, Lee Weatherington, John Cannon and Ruttenberg all build in that particular section. Uh, 800,000 plus to get into that area. This is the polo field here on the left hand side. Great place for entertaining during polo season, which runs uh, November through January. Great, great place to go out and tailgate during that time of year because the weather is just spectacular. So we all go out there, hang out around the edges of the uh, polo field and uh, corporations go out there. It's just a really, really fun time and uh, watch some polo, actually. I'm now in kind of in the middle of Lakewood Ranch. This is the new shopping area for um, that waterside area. So as you can see, they've built apartments and condominiums to completely surround the shopping and restaurants here. And again, this is in uh, the waterside area of Lakewood Ranch, which is to the south of University Parkway between University and Fruitville Road. Um, these particular apartments have only been there maybe a year. They opened up and um, this leads right out to our newest shopping area. Tons of boutique shops, restaurants, coffee spots. Um, it's just a great place to hang out. This is also the area where the Players Theater um, is relocating. They're building a brand new building out here in Lakewood Ranch. So that's where we'll go see plays and concerts. Uh, that's under construction now. But again, this area probably been open about eight months now. And um, as you can see, they have um, the, the shops and then they have office space up top but it's just a nice place to come and walk around, especially in the evening. This will be the place where they'll do fireworks for the holidays and it'll be beautifully decorated for the uh, for Christmas and uh, New Year's. Uh, we're gonna take a left here and it's gonna go down 
and they're actually going to have water taxis that go to some of the communities, not all, but some of the communities within Waterside. Uh, Homes by Town is one of those communities where the water taxi will actually pull up and take you over here if you want to shop, go grab breakfast, lunch, dinner, a coffee, and that right there uh, is the little marina area where the water taxi will be pulling up. Not completed yet, they're still building the docks. So now we're headed out of the shopping area. We're headed back towards University Parkway. We're gonna cross over University Parkway into the first country club in Lakewood Ranch. Um, the country club was developed, probably started about 1995, and it took them about 10 years to complete the country club. Two things on this road to the left, you have the Lakewood Ranch Athletic Club, and then on the right, you're gonna have the Legacy, it's a public golf course, Legacy Golf Course. So anybody in Lakewood Ranch can join the Lakewood Ranch uh, Athletic Facility. Tennis courts, pickleball courts, workout facility, pool area, a very, very nice. When I first moved here, we joined there and really, really enjoyed it. So as you can guess, the uh, country club is gated and I'm pulling up to the gate here and then we'll pull through and I'm going to take you back towards the uh, private country club. So there's all kind, they call them villages within the Lakewood Ranch Country Club and the Lakewood Ranch Country Club is within the overall part of Lakewood Ranch. So uh, Legacy Golf Course on both sides of us, as I said, that's a public course. It's a Lynx course, very difficult, but fun to play. And um, heading back towards the private country club. Now for golfers, there's at least 10 golf courses in Lakewood, just in Lakewood Ranch alone. And there's probably another six golf courses within a 10 to 15 minute drive. So I always recommend to people not moving to a community just to join the country club because there's so much golf. But some people love that country club environment. So this is an optional country club. Um, you don't have to belong to it. People in Lakewood Ranch that don't live in the country club can come in and get memberships there. And um, price wise, I haven't checked into it, but they have everything from a social membership all the way through um, a full membership. But it's a uh, beautiful building. I've been in there before. Beautiful restaurant. Um, just nicely. I'll give you a view here. I'm just going to turn so you kind of have a view of what the country club looks like. But again, this has been there since I would say that probably opened in 2005. So exiting the country club, there's one of the lakes that we have, which are very important to us uh, for water runoff during rainy season and during storms, retention ponds, we call them. We also use those for irrigation. That's the private golf course across there. You can see it. I've played that course a couple of times. It's absolutely beautiful. And as you can guess, winds all the way through the, uh, the country club. As you can tell, the landscaping is mature in this section of Lakewood Ranch. This is probably 15 to 20 year old trees. And we'll, we'll drive through an area that actually has canopy going over where the oak trees have grown, oak, grown over the streets. So we're headed back towards now, towards the um, exit of the country club. And as I said, there's different communities. I'm going to say there's probably eight to 10 communities located within the country club and they each have their own uh, homeowner association and different kind of, uh, like I say, rules because everything's kind of the same in Lakewood Ranch, but governed by their own homeowners association. All the landscaping in here is done for you. You don't have to worry about doing any of that. And you can see, how well everything is maintained. And this is not just within the country club, this is within Lakewood Ranch in general. The streets are just perfectly uh, taken care of. 
of landscaping is all done to just the highest standards and they maintain the lakes, the parks, everything within Lake Wood Ranch. And that's part of the CDD fee, which is part of your property taxes that you pay within Lake Wood Ranch to maintain all this and keep it looking exactly like it does. So we've gone through the guard gate. We're headed out back towards, we're headed south, headed towards University Parkway. We're gonna make a left-hand turn on University Parkway and head towards uh, the Dell Web, which is located in a different section, still within Lakewood Ranch. That, if you continued straight down that road, that was to the shopping. This road leads you to three of our more exclusive communities, the Lake Club, the Isles, and then all the way at the end is the Concession, which is actually not part of Lakewood Ranch. Um, the concession, concession is a golfing community. The Isles and Lake Club are not golfing, but they start in 800 to 900,000 and go up into the several millions to get into those communities. Spectacular homes. They have preserved lots. They have lakefront lots in both of those. So we've worked our way to the left there. That's the back entrance to the country club and we're turning right on Masters Avenue. So we're gonna be heading east again. On our left-hand side is gonna be one of the elementary schools that's located within Lakewood Ranch. And right next to that is one of the uh, non-gated communities, which is called Greenbrook inside Lakewood Ranch. Uh, geared very much towards families, as you can guess. Homes range from the 400s probably up close to a million dollars. You can find some of the larger homes in there. Um, we're passing on the left-hand side, we're passing Country Club East. Um, again, a beautiful golfing gated community with its own clubhouse, amenity center, pools, workout area, and that's all for the residents of Country Club East. To the right is the back of the Lake Club and the Isles. So that goes all the way from University all the way back to Masters Avenue. This is pretty normal traffic for Lakewood Ranch this time of year. Not, you know, very congested. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, out on I-75 in the morning and in the evening, it gets crowded. So this is the back entrance to the Dell Web. It's seven years old now. It was our first 55 plus community within Lakewood Ranch. Gates are open because they're still doing construction. There's about 5% of the land still to be developed inside of Dell Web. So um, again, all the landscaping is done for you. That's included in the fees. The fees in Lakewood Ranch, not Lakewood Ranch, I'm sorry, in Dell Webb are $335 a month. That includes the gated security, use of all the amenities, and all of your outside landscaping. You don't have to do one thing. They even set the sprinklers up for you, so you don't have to worry about a thing out there. If you have a shrubbery or a tree that dies, they come and replace it for you, no questions asked. And, um, this is a new section of Del Webb. These homes are about a year old. So you can see that the landscaping is developing, but not quite there yet. I'm headed towards their clubhouse. So on the left-hand side, we'll pull into this uh, little parking area and then the tennis courts and the pickleball courts will be on the right-hand side. And as I turn it straight across from me will be the restaurant that's located right there within Del Webb. Now it's a public restaurant. Anybody can go in there and eat, but it's primarily for the, uh, the folks that live in Del Webb. So access to the pool from there. You can grab a sandwich, sit out by the pool, have cocktails. This is their clubhouse, 25,000 square feet. Magnificent display, kitchen, game rooms, workout facility, uh, beautiful pools behind it. Um, the gymnasium in there is better than any gymnasium that I've ever worked at in this area. So, okay, so we've exited 
Del Webb. We're back out on State Road 70 heading to the west and we're turning, heading north. We've got two communities that are located right here. On your right hand side is a community built by Lennar. It's called Lakewood National, geared very heavily towards people who want golfing and amenities and the fees reflect that. But if you are into a lot of golfing and an amenity rich community, Lakewood National would be a great choice for you. There's a Pulte community on the right hand side and we're heading back towards Crestwind, which is our second 55 plus community within Lakewood Ranch. Again, gated, maintenance free, their monthly fees are very close to what um, the Dell Web is. I think it's identical, as a matter of fact, and it covers everything. It covers all your use of the amenities and landscaping and the security. So their guard gate, this community is about two years old. Their guard gate is open because so many people are coming in and out during the day, but uh, this closes at five o'clock at night. And eventually, once the community is getting close to being built out, it will be closed. So you have 24 hour security. To the left is the sales center and they have 10 model homes that you can walk through there to get an idea of what your home, if you decided to build here, would look like once it's complete and they show you all the options that go, I call it bells and whistles that go with the home that you can add. So on our left hand side here is going to be the uh, Crestwind Clubhouse. Again, beautiful display kitchens, wine bar, full-time activity director, uh, pools out. looks like so you'll have some completed homes and you'll have some homes that are getting pretty close to being done uh, but aren't quite there yet so they tend to work on a complete street first get that completely done then they move to the next section so as you can see there's a home still got the trash bin in front from construction and that one's getting ready to get the roof tiles put on um, but they'll complete one road and then they'll move over to the next road and start working there where they'll have just the cinder blocks up for the home and then it starts developing from there. But it gives you an idea. This is brand new landscaping, uh, less than a year old. Uh, we closed on a house in February 2022 on this street. So their landscaping looks about the same. So we're pulling out of uh, Crestwind. That's called the Rain Lakes across there. We're heading north again. We're gonna show you one of the newer sections of Lakewood Ranch. It's a DR Horton um, area. And um, it's probably been open less than uh, six months. So as we turn the corner here, you'll see it. And it's called Star Farms, geared mostly towards families. It will be gated. They do have a section in there that's going to be designated as uh, active adult, but not age restricted. So um, anybody can buy there, but it's geared towards the active adult community. So now we're heading um, back and we're heading uh, again west and we're gonna pull into Esplanade, which is built by Taylor Morrison Homes. I call Esplanade the community that has amenities on steroids. I mean, just everything, gated, golfing community, restaurants, beautiful clubhouse, places for the ladies to go get their nails done, go get a massage. So it's over the top amenities. They have both golfing and non-golfing home sites. 
here on a non-golfing home site, you can still play golf on their golf course, but the fees are different. You probably pay for your cart and things like that as opposed to what the members pay. But the golf course is straight in front of us and it's just absolutely beautiful. I've seen some of the home sites that are on the golf course, especially the ones that are on a lake with a golf course on the other side. Just absolutely spectacular. So um, Esplanade here is probably, I'm going to say three years along, probably have another four years of development to go. It's a large community. Um, and clubhouse is not even for the uh, for the golf course is not even finished yet but you can see concrete block homes tile roofs immaculate landscaping just done pristinely um, we've got a house that's almost complete right behind to the right of that pickup truck so they're matter of fact they're doing a walkthrough today which is august 24th on their home. So this is the athletic facility for Lakewood Ranch, another really cool thing that we have. These are lacrosse and soccer fields. Manatee County runs and maintains this. Um, they're putting a community pool section in. They're adding tennis courts and covered pickleball courts so people can play pickleball during the day and not be in the direct sun. Still be hot, but they won't be in the direct sun. So it's a huge piece of land with lots of development to go. So um, the soccer fields and lacrosse fields have been there for quite a while, but it's a great entertainment area. And right across from this is the public golf, uh, public uh, post office for Lakewood Ranch. So this is, uh, we're heading back to the west again. This is just one of the little back roads in Lakewood Ranch. Um, I wanted to show you this because to the right you'll see lakes and um, a wooded area. One third of Lakewood Ranch is designated to stay like that. There'll be lakes and parks, uh, wooded areas, uh, walking and jogging trails. That sidewalk there is, doesn't look like it, but it's really wide. So you can bike on that, rollerblade on that, jog on that. And this runs all the way back to, I came off Lorraine Road. This goes all the way back to Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, which is our other road that uh, connects north to south from State Road 64, all the way down to Fruitville Road. The Country Club. The back of the country club here is on your left hand side. And as you can see, beautiful landscaping and back out onto Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. So communities on the left hand side and we get down just a little bit further, there's communities on the right hand side. Eventually we'll come up on another entrance for the country club of Lakewood Ranch, another gated entrance and we're heading south again, and we're heading back towards University Parkway. I wanted to show you uh, the section where uh, we have a shopping area called Main Street, boutique shops and restaurants, the Liquid Ranch Information Center is there. Really fun, uh, first Fridays they shut the streets down and have bands and restaurants are out in the streets serving food and drinks and everything, so it's really, really great. That's on our left-hand side. These are some luxury apartments that they built a few years ago, probably four years ago. And you can see that crane there to the right, they're still building. And just past these um, apartments is the Lakewood Ranch Hospital. So if you turn right here at this light, um, Lakewood Ranch Hospital is there and then all the buildings around it are all the uh, medical doctors and specialists um, for this area and then Main Street Shopping is just to the left at this light as well. So we're headed towards University. Here we are and I wanted to show you the UTC Mall. Uh, it's five minutes away from where we were just sitting. It's on the left hand side. Then across from the mall there's a new uh, Target shopping area with all kinds of shops. Best Buy and everything in there. Uh, you can see a new restaurants going in right there. The mall has, I think they have eight restaurants within the mall. 
So just a fantastic area. So that's our tour of Lakewood Ranch. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be right back to tell you more. So hopefully that tour gave you a little bit better feeling for what Lakewood Ranch is. Of course, I couldn't cover every square inch of Lakewood Ranch, but it should give you an idea, kind of the layout of uh, what everything looks like, how pristine the area is kept, and um, hopefully answered a lot of questions for you about showing you uh, Del Webb, driving you through the Crestwind community, and even giving you a glimpse of the Esplanade community, which is built by Taylor Morrison Homes and marketed as active adult. Not an age-restricted community, but gated, golfing, amenities galore, and um, just gave you a feeling, gave you the vibe for Lakewood Ranch, telling you all about it. So um, if you have any questions, Obviously, you can email me. You can use the calendar invite on my email to uh, uh, make an appointment with me to either do a Zoom call, an in-person meeting, or just a regular phone call. I'd be happy to answer questions for you about the Lakewood Ranch Parish and Sarasota markets and real estate here. So I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward.